Chadian Arabic, Larabi du Chad, Bagarar Arabic, and, most recently, within a small scholarly milieu, Western Sudanic Arabic, is one of the regional colloquial varieties of Arabic. It is the first language for over one million people, including town dwellers and nomadic cattle herders. The majority of its speakers live in southern Chad. Its range is an east to west oval in the Sahel, about 1400 miles long by 300 miles north to south. Nearly all of this territory is in the two countries of Chad and Sudan. It is also spoken elsewhere in the vicinity of Lake Chad in the countries of Cameroon, Nigeria, Niger. Finally, it is spoken in slivers of the Central African Republic and South Sudan. In addition, this language serves as a lingua franca in much of the region. In most of its range, it is one of several local languages and often not among the major ones. Name and origin. This language does not have a native name shared by all its speakers beyond Arabic. It arose as the native language of nomadic cattle herders. Since the publication of a grammar of a Nigerian dialect in 1920, this language has become widely cited academically as Shu'ar Arabic. However, the term Shu'ar was in use only among non-Arabic speaking people in Borno State. Around 2000, the term Western Sudanic Arabic was proposed by a specialist in the language, Jonathan Owens. The geographical sense of Sudanic invoked by Owens is not the modern country of Sudan, but the Sahel in general, a region dubbed by Laid al-Sudan. The land of the blacks by Arabs as far back as the medieval era. In the era of British colonialism in Africa, colonial administrators too used the Sudan to mean the entire Sahel. How this Arabic language arose is unknown. In 1994, Raoul Camper proposed that it arose in Chad starting in 1635 by the fusion of a population of Arabic speakers with a population of Fulani nomads. During the colonial era, a form of pidgin Arabic known as Turku was used as a lingua franca. There are still Arabic pigeons in Chad today, but since they have not been described, it is not known if they descend from Turku. Distribution the majority of speakers live in southern Chad between 10 and 14 degrees north latitude. It is the native language of 12% of Chadians. Chadian Arabic's associated lingua franca is widely spoken in Chad, so that Chadian Arabic and its lingua franca combined are spoken by some are between 40% and 60% of the Chadian population. In Sudan, it is spoken in the southwest, in southern Kordofan and southern Darfur, but excluding the cities of Al Ubaid and Al Fasha. Its range in other African countries includes a sliver of the Central African Republic, the northern half of its Vakaga prefecture, which is adjacent to Chad and Sudan, a sliver of South Sudan at its border with Sudan, and the environs of Lake Chad spanning three other countries namely part of Nigeria's, Cameroon's far north region, and in the Differ department of Niger's Differ region. The number of speakers in Niger is estimated to be 150,000 people. In Nigeria, it's spoken by 10% of the population of Maiduguri, the capital of Borno, and by at least 100,000 villages elsewhere in Borno. Early 20th century scholarship in 1913, a French colonial administrator in Chad, Henry Carver, wrote a grammar of the local dialect of the Wadai Highlands, a region of eastern Chad on the border with Sudan. In 1920, a British colonial administrator in Nigeria, Gordon James Letham, wrote a grammar of the Borno dialect in which he noted that the same language was spoken in Kanem and Wadi. Grammar. It is characterized by the loss of the pharyngeals, H, and, the interdental fricatives, Th, Theta, and, Th, and diphthongs. But it also has, L, R, and Pamita, as extra phonemic emphatics. Some examples of minimal pairs for such emphatics are, Alab, he galloped, Alelab, he got angry, Kara, he tore. Karara, he dragged, amm, uncle, amm, mother. In addition, Nigerian Arabic has the feature of inserting am, a, after gutturals. 
Another notable feature is the change of standard Arabic form V from Tafaral to Al-Faral. For example, the word Tar Alam becomes El Alam. The first person singular of verbs is different from its formation in other Arabic dialects in that it does not have a final T. Thus, the first person singular of the verb katib is katib with stress on the second syllable of the word, whereas the third person singular is katib with stress on the first syllable. The following is a sample vocabulary. The two meanings of id stem from formally different words. Asterisk id, hand, less than classical yad versus. Asterisk id, festival, less than classical id. In classical Arabic, chicken is dajaja, and collectively dajaj.